Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to the second part uh, about my video uh, 10 kilogram cell phone board for recovery. I think uh, a lot uh, before I upload the first part, uh, did I actually have to, to upload this two video because uh, before you start watching second part, I will disappoint you uh, with the amount of gold uh, which I get from this uh, 10 kilogram. So in the start, uh, I know that I will get a comment like, uh, hey bro, you lose some gold, uh, dude, this is uh, not correct amount or uh, uh, you lost something uh, you not work something good uh, you have some mistake I don't know uh, because uh, people just uh, don't uh, some people just don't realize that uh, not all material is the best so uh, sometime you got uh, excellent gold amount from gold amount from the something but uh, from the same material but uh, other manufacturing uh, sometimes is just bad uh, so when I retrieve that uh, cell board uh, in the first frame of my first part uh, that video uh, I tell you that I'm not satisfied with the board because uh, it's uh, mostly 80-90% uh, uh, it's a board from the Sony Ericsson with the tripod. Uh, I see it's good, just pins, but uh, board is not cool. Board got a graphite touchpad and uh, very rare is uh, with gold touchpad, very rare couple of pieces uh, board have just some spot in flash well plated and uh, it's very bad so okay uh, I think about that did I post this video or I don't post this video but uh, uh, from a moment when I start my channel to this point I always uh, try to be tell you the truth uh, how much gold I got and uh, how much actually gold some material have uh, because uh, I saw a couple of video not a couple a lot video on YouTube uh, when the people return some gold but not just for me for anybody it's a enormous amount of gold from some item and uh, if I recover maybe a 15-20 gram from this 10 kilogram board, I know comment will be, uh, hey, great job, you're amazing, blah, blah. But this is not the case. Uh, I love to tell the people true, how actually can get the gold from something. So I will pause this video. You'll see right now my result. And uh, I don't know. If you like it, you're gonna like it. If you don't, I don't care. For me, it's true. So let's go to the second part of 10 kilogram cell board ball recovery, okay? Okay, we finish. We got some water here in chips. So the next step is uh, get some nitric acid. To remove some base metal. The reaction already start, and when the reaction finish, we will wash that with water and uh, put that in some make some aqua regia. Okay. Okay. We split that chips remains in the two batch. This is first batch, 200 milliliter hydrochloric acid, 
and uh, before we add nitric acid we will add only 50 milliliter nitric acid this is a four part hydrochloric acid 35 percent and one part nitric acid 56 percent so you can use three part hydrochloric acid and one part nitric but you can use four part hydrochloric and one part nitric like i when i do ICs okay you always keep your spray bottle with a desolated water if this start this stuff start boiling just uh, spread some water on that uh, fuel and on that uh, foam and uh, they will go away okay and we will do some quick tennis test to see if they're gold in solution and very good see that very very positive finish test We start to filter the first batch and uh, after we finish with the filter the filtering solution we go to the next step you already see a lot of time denox with the urea okay guys I returned that fiber and the silicon dye from previous two batch after filtering I return in one big batch and uh, add some aqua regia just in case we got some gold and I want to show you I already do a stenius test and we got just a little slight positive not too much uh, over 90% gold we are very ready extract first time so just in case we will repeat that process and uh, drop that gold separately from this batch this is my second filtering old solution because uh, the first time some some uh, slug uh, came to me through the filter so I need to uh, see that slug so I Filter that for the second time, and after that, in this big jar, I will denox nitric acid. Okay. Next step: denox solution with the urea. We add urea step by step, little by little, till no reaction at all.
See? We already have some gold here. But just in case we will wait to settle down everything. And okay, after only half hour, you see, we got our gold. Very nice color. And we got some flying slug. I really don't know what is this, but never mind. Gold is important. Hey guys, we start to filter gold from the IT chip, and here it is. This is our gold. And okay, our next step is the burn all that pins with plastic and that uh, crumbs from uh, that board. Okay, after burning that pins and that crumbs, crumbs, uh, so speaker, uh, we'll put that in that plastic bucket. Hey guys, so. Here I got all that pins and ash. Yeah. Here I got hydrochloric acid, here I got nitric acid. So now we're gonna mix aqua regia three part. Now we will use three part HCl and one part nitric. Okay? I need both hands for this, so catch you later. Okay, I add half amount of nitric, four jar HCl, and only half jar of nitric. But I will add that other half later. Now we got some reaction. Very good. Okay, after all night, I leave that and go to sleep. This is uh, our Aquaregia. It's look very, reaction is done. It's look very, it's a lot of slug on the bottom. And I start the filter. Filter process go very, very slow. So I think that will be need all freaking day to filter that amount of solution. Hey guys, see that? Uh, all gold fell off. 
And if you see solution, you see a floating gold. But problem is, we got a lot of solution to filter. So, okay. Let's start this annoying job. Uh, it's cold weather, so I think it's been solution over 10 days. But this job is finished. That is important. Okay. Now we put filter that beaker and we put on low heat and uh, we add 200 milliliter hyaluronic acid and now we will add the solution get hot, we will add little by little nitric acid to make acrylia. Start to filter, we start to filter in solution to the clear and the 